Hi YouTube, Ruibas here. Did you know that there are some monks who make chocolate for a living? It's Valentine's Day, and my wife and I stopped by a confectionery to pick up some chocolates. This is from the Brigitine Monks. Check that out. Does that look nice? Does it look delicious? This is a dark chocolate orange truffle, and it was made by monks. The Brigitine Monks. Who are the Brigitine Monks, you ask? Very near where I grew up, there is a monastery, an actual monastic order of monks called the Brigitine Monks, who, what they do for a living, how they support themselves, is they make fudge and truffles, and then they sell them. To the world. You can buy these online. I didn't even get these directly from the monastery. We bought them from a local chocolate shop that resells these same chocolates. And I don't really know why, but I guess I just wanted to make a video about this because it's so cool to me that there's a local monastery with actual monks who live in isolation and what they do for a living is pray and they make fudge and truffles. And th that's, that's just what they do. That's literally how they sustain themselves. And I looked it up and while this monastery was founded in 1976, the original order that this stems from was actually founded in 1344. They've been around for several centuries. Wikipedia actually has a general entry for this order of monks. And around the world, they have 800 members or at least as of 2013. The Brigitine Monastery in the Willamette Valley in Oregon is its own self-sustaining autonomous community. I personally have been there a couple of times and it is really fun to visit. It's very quaint, they have the little chapel there, and then there's a little visiting center where you can go in and you can actually just sample fudge and truffles for free as much as you want. They have so many different flavors of the truffles, they have a whole bunch of different fudges. Again, you can buy these online and they are delicious and apparently they're pretty famous too. According to their website, they have been featured on the ABC Nightly News and CNN and their products have even been featured on Jeopardy. I guess I take a certain pride that I grew up near this place and it's just so fascinating to me that it's an actual modern day order of monks who just live there in isolation and do their thing but they make delicious confectionery goodness. So on this Valentine's Day, I would like to invite you to go check out the website for the Brigitine Monks. This is not a sponsor. This is not a, it's not a paid promo. I guess this kind of is a promo, but the, no one knows that I'm doing this. I just decided to do this because I think it's cool and you need to know about it. And if you want some of the best fudge, some of the best truffles you've ever tried, you need to go to this website right now and buy some. They ship everywhere, all around the world. That's my spiel. Thank you for listening to me ramble about delicious chocolates and fudge made by monks who live near where I grew up. It's pretty cool. If you have had the good fortune of actually trying some of these delicious things, mm, comment below your glorious experiences. And if you try it after this video, let me know and I'll feel really good about introducing you to something incredible. That's all I got. Go eat some fudge. Happy Valentine's Day. Like, comment, subscribe, YouTube algorithm.